So in life, there are times when we commit mistakes that cause us real heartache. Much as we know it's impossible, we will all have prayed to turn back time and resolve this icky situation. So if only we knew what's going to happen, right? So especially if you are in the e-commerce industry where successful entrepreneurs could make thousands of dollars each minute, it will be such a waste of precious opportunities when you fall into common pit holes, right? So in today's video, I would hence like to share the second top most Amazon selling mistakes many sellers would commit during their first e-commerce attempts. And I hope all of you would avoid it in your business ventures too. So here it is. Right, so mistake number two, choosing or creating the wrong products to sell. Now, what I'm going to tell you is my friend's true personal account. So to protect his privacy, I shall call this friend John in this video. So a few years back, you know, John decided to actually start an online business of selling sports apparel. So this is a niche which he was very familiar with as he worked as a fitness coach. So the first product he chose to sell was a pair of cell design running shoes. And the reason for doing so was this, to quote his exact words, is every guy's dream to have his own brand of sport shoes. So when John listed his shoes on Amazon, business seemed brisk initially. His shoes design is fresh and it captured the attention of online shoppers for a while. So excited, John spent another few thousands of dollars to manufacture more of his shoes. However, as months passed, John noticed that he wasn't earning as many profits as before. So in fact, during some of the worst months, there would be little to no sales for his shoes. When it started getting hard for him to sustain his business, John decided to ask me for some advice. So as he recounted his experience to me, I spotted a super obvious mistake that John committed, and that was the choice of products he launched on Amazon. So you see, what John failed to notice was that the sports apparel is a very oversaturated product niche. When doing business online and offline alike, you don't want to get into a niche where everyone is trying to sell similar products. So every day there will be new running shoes with exotic designs being listed on Amazon. And that meant that there will be fierce competition for everyone in this niche. So prices of private label shoes like John's could be driven down very fast and thus leading to a narrow profit margin for his business. Moreover, the sports apparel niche has widely known brand name competitors like Nike and Adidas. So imagine yourself as an online shopper looking for running shoes on Amazon. Will you choose to purchase a pair of Adidas or will you choose to purchase shoes from John's brand, which they've never heard of? So the answer seems obvious. So to help John, I then suggest that perhaps he could use his own design on a niche further down or a niche which is more specialized. So by doing so, he will be faced with lesser competition. And on the other hand, John should always try testing out his ideas with real customers before he makes the full launch on Amazon. So for example, he could drive you know around 100 people to a trial selling site using Facebook ads to test the conversion rate of his new product and validate the idea at minimum cost. So this could help him see if the product is worth investing in and he can save much more money in the long term. So are you interested to know more about such Amazon selling mistakes and how to avoid them? So stay tuned, like this video and continue following me if you want to know the third deadly mistakes many Amazon sellers commit. See you soon.